good family so what i'm trying to do right now is relocate that radio in the trunk um because i want to keep the the factory the oil live the key fob that's the main thing programming these key fobs you know what i'm saying one of them went out and I, i'm down to one so i was gonna program it and i said man i might as well relocate the radio that way it ever happens again or i get some more i can redo it again and um so i got some input from someone from this group forgot his name but i gave him a shout out once i type it in uh i went to the yard yesterday and i pulled or i, I clipped one of these from way back there this is the original one that goes in the radio so he told me to go with the pink and go with the orange i got two oranges but uh i'll show you right now on here and um how we got so much wire some i'm, I'm gonna clip some of this i'm clip i'm gonna clip off the audio wires so this is what he said go with uh this one a1 keep that one and the pink a6 along with the ground and then he said i should be fine with those three uh that's all i need so what i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna clip off from a8 down to a11 and then i'm gonna clip off from b8 down to b11 so right here it shows you uh exactly what you're looking at if you hold it like this there goes the pin out it starts at the top left a1 and the bottom left b1 so which one i said i'm gonna clip i'm gonna clip off from a8 down to a11 i'm gonna clip off four of them so if i count this is a1 right there on this left corner so i'll turn it around and this is a1 one, two, three, four, five, six is the pink. You see right there, six is the pink. Then it goes to the dark blue. If we can see it. It's a little bit difficult to see. Let me see. Also right there on the blue, it'll show you the pin up. You see that? Four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm gonna clip these with the ones I said. Give me a second. But these are the ones I'm clipping off. The ones I got bent up and the ones I got bent down. Not this black one, though. I'm going to clip off these four up here and the four down there. These are all audio wires. We don't need them. All right, so that's what we left with. A whole lot cleaner. And once I figure out the ones I need, I'm going to keep them and clip off the rest so it could get even cleaner with that. Somebody home. All right, so we tapped in to the ones we needed, which is the pink, the orange, and the ground. Let's close these up right quick. Now, if this does work, I'm going to remove these splices that I just made. And I'm going to re-splice all this with a 20-foot wire so it can reach all the way to the back. Because this, this is all I got right now. So let's let's plug this in right quick. Give me a second. Hopefully it work. not work all right here we go so i got the other orange in now so we got two oranges uh a pink and the ground so let's see if that's gonna make it work for a second right here. Let's see moment of truth this way ah there it goes there she goes you see that all right let's see the let's see if the uh, the settings work Actually, I think it's the first on. Just turn it one time. Hold the display. Ah, there it goes. So, there. Yeah. So, what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to try to remove one of the, the first orange. Because the least wires we got to run, the better. So, I'm going to remove the first orange and see if uh this still works. All right, so it turns out you need both of the oranges because with the B1 orange alone, it does give you that, but very dim. And also, when you hold this here to get into settings, it just turns back off. Watch that. See? This won't even turn on either. So we'll get both of the oranges. Just make sure you don't mix up the two because they're completely different. Make sure where they're coming from on the pinout. Uh, get the two oranges. Get the ground. And get the the pink. So this is what you're gonna get. 
you're going to get A1 orange. You're going to get A6 pink. You're going to get A A12 black, which is ground. And then the B1 orange. And again, see battery positive voltage. Don't mix the two oranges. I don't know what will happen. Uh, I don't want to find out. But uh, what I'm going to do now is... uh. Where's my stuff at? Give me a second. So this is what I got. I got one of these uh, audio RCA cables, and these reach all the way to the back of the trunk. This is for an amplifier. So in this, man, hold on, open up. God, I was able to get it out the bag. All right, so this is what you got on one end. So each one of these has two wires running through the inside. So you got the wire that's here, on the outside on the ring, and then you got the wire on the pin. That's two wires. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to clip this. I'm going to clip it right here. And I got one, two, three, four wires. And that's all I need. I need two oranges. So we'll, we'll keep the blue for the two oranges. And we'll keep this one for the pink and the black. And then we'll just run all this all the way back. And re-splice the other end back to our this one here. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to clip all the other wires. Because we, we already know which ones we don't need. These are the only four we need. These clip the rest off you don't have to i'm i'm uh i probably won't even clip them off i'll just for future reference i might need them for thumbnails i don't know for what i can't clip them off what i'm gonna do i'm gonna coil them up and then just run a zip tie through it and clean it up leave it a little more clean so i'll be back all right so check this on the on the black sleeve i'm gonna use that for the pink in the ground so that's why i got the w means white the white wire it's gonna be my pink and the black wire is gonna be the ground and on the blue sleeve i got my white it's going to be my A orange, and my black is going to be my B orange. So, you got the A and the B. Remember, you got A and B. Or actually, that's A, and the bottom is B. So, just not to get these confused, and um, I'm going to solder these to that. Clean that up a bit, like I said, and then just uh, start running everything to the, to the trunk. I'll be back. Alright, so this is what I got. I was able to clean this up. And uh, solder these in to the corresponding ones. Like I said, I'm fortunate enough to have a, a uh, cordless or wireless or battery operated solder gun. But you can do it however, even with tape, whatever it is you're going to use. Just take pride in your work. That way it comes out good. So uh, we're going to start running all that to the trunk. Alright, so we got everything cleaned up. Everything put back together. I got... Uh, the aftermarket in the dash, and this is where we got the factory. I'm gonna go ahead and toss it back there behind the uh seat right now. I got a lot of stuff back there, I got a speaker box back there, so I'm gonna find some room for it, even if I just gotta have it back there loosely or whatever. Um, I'll just raise up the seat and put it back up there, but uh, let's give it a go, put that on accessories, and see what we got. <clears throat> let's hold this here. See if it work. There you go. Settings, oil life, all that good stuff. This is all I wanted. Um, where you at? That's the main one right there. The program, the fob, the key fob. So we got everything going, man. I want to give a shout out to Carlos Barrera. He's the one who was walking me through it. So without it, without him um giving me the information needed, I probably wouldn't make this happen. Cause he did tell me uh he gave me half the wires and figured the other half out but uh with his information it was enough to go by so i appreciate you carlos barrera one time